Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine, I'm a volunteer. I make videos about affordable luxury travel and also affordable luxury in the home. Today I'm leaving Miami, Florida to go to Naples, Florida, and I'm in a bus, a very luxury coach bus called Red Coach. I'm so excited to be going to Naples, I'll be seeing my friend. So I'm not staying in a hotel, I am with a friend, so you won't be seeing any of that, but I'm so excited to show you what you can do in Naples. I booked this tour directly with the company. I found out about them on Groupon, called them, and they were able to match my Groupon price, which was amazing. This tour was really nice and helpful to get acquainted with downtown Naples. It's something that you should do right when you get here so you kind of have a lay of the land, see where things are located, find out where the best food spots are, and kind of just understand what there is to do while you're staying here. If you really want to know history and understand lots of facts and things like that, this is not the tour for you. If you do want a more historical aspect of Naples, there is a historic society that does offer tours. Unfortunately, when I was there, the tours were booked, so I couldn't go. A little bit far away from the people, but uh, look at these houses. Really beautiful. This is a really nice part of the tour. We can't get a boat out of Key West. So the trike tour that I previously have done was in Tin City and I walked around and saw that there was a wine tasting at a winery in that same location. I went inside and found out that they give free wine tastings every single day that they're open, which is awesome. Not only is this a really fun activity you can do with your friends, it's also great to actually figure out what you're going to buy. Through key lime, pineapple, and mango. Wow. <laughs> Right. Now this is a different sangria. It's made with berries, blackberry, cherry, and a touch of brandy. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little different flavor. Okay. It's going to be a little dry. We have so many different wine options that you can choose from and being able to sample so many of them like I have, it really helped to make the decision of what I'd like to buy. If you know me, you know I love drinking tea. It's one of my favorite pastimes that I have with my mom. I love Bramble's Tea Room because of the really, really cute design of the walkway as you're going to enter into the tea area. There's also a gift shop that is out front that is the main looking building. Oh, ooh. I just caught that the right time. Um, but the tea room is separate and you can order a la carte. There's so many different options, like croissants and salads, sandwiches, etc. Uh, I decided to go for the afternoon tea package, and so I went with Bramble Celebration. This includes a lot of different things, and as well as a drink. So I chose a mimosa, but maybe you'd want champagne or wine. two we had were like good but honestly these two were like much better um tea sandwiches were yummy honestly i didn't know if i was gonna get full i kind of got full we're at the dessert now and I, I can't eat but i love it this place is awesome <laughs> I know that when people come down to Florida, they want to go to the beach, see the palm trees, just enjoy and relax in their time on vacation. So I recommend coming to the Sunset Bar and Grill. This is great after spending your time at the beach and you want to now have some drinks and food. It is really nice. Um, there's also a, a classier restaurant right next door if you want a formal sit down dinner. But if you want to be casual, definitely come over to this beach bar and grill. Both of these restaurants are on the property of the Naples Beach Hotel. It is 
so beautiful here. This beach grill bar has seating over there where I'm sitting on the beach. Um, it's much better than being over here where there's like people and like they're all next to each other. So this is definitely a much better option um, to be distance and it's on the beach. Literally like no, no shoes. I've never seen a tiramisu martini ever in my life and this tastes so good. This is gnocchi. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks pretty good. The waiter recommended it and so yum. So everyone kind of left the outdoor area and I'm the only one here, but it is so cute. Really good food and the tiramisu martini was amazing. When I was planning for my Naples trip, I was the most excited to go on the manatee tour. It was so much fun. I learned a lot about these beautiful animals from the captain. He is very, very knowledgeable. And I also got to learn a little bit about the alligators out here in Florida. We've even seen them. I've learned about some birds. And all in all, I really enjoyed my time out in the water. I thought that it was definitely well this worth it. Spot is what we call a footprint, and it comes off the tail. <laughs> they can hold their breath for 20 minutes. They have massive lungs about three quarters of length of their entire body. killer of manatees is red tide. What's that? The red tide is a bloom of red algae in the water. It's uh, asphyxiant, it's poisonous. It cuts off lung function. <laughs> they are docile, gentle, friendly creatures. They don't fight with each other over food or mating or anything. So this is a restaurant my friend took me right after the manatee tour. It was my first day in Naples, so the route was bus stop to the manatee tour to a restaurant and then back to where I'll be staying for 10 days. Hey, so I'm in this beautiful restaurant. We're trying to be seated outside, but there's too many people, so we're inside. It's so nice, the music, the vibe, and the food tastes delicious, so ah, good to be here. So yeah, the restaurant is really cute. I like the theme. I would say come here if you are in this area. If not, then it's okay. <laughs> if you want to go somewhere really nice for drinks, the Hampton Social is the place to go. So you'll see here I wrote that it's in a shopping mall. Mercado is super beautiful. This is one of my favorite shopping malls that I've been to, especially for nightlife and I really like it because of their aesthetic. Their drinks taste really good. Quick side note, so there are many different shopping malls that you could be going to while you're here in Naples. There's many different restaurants, bars, shops that you can visit, and Mercado is one of the really nice ones that you can go to. This is such a cute place. I love all the decor and honestly like I would love to live here just like put a couch and my bed like honestly this is like my aesthetic. <laughs> I recommend coming here if you drive, if you are staying in downtown Naples. Coming out to Mercado is a bit of a ride but um, you can Uber, it's really not a problem. The prices for Uber are not bad. If you want to do some shopping, Naples is the place to go. 
It's so funny, the day that I discovered Miramar Outlets was the day I thought I was going thrift shopping. There's a lot of thrift stores here in Naples, so that could be number 11 if you want. We made a wrong turn and then ended up seeing the outlets. And I thought, you know what, why not? Let's go. And I ended up really liking it because I love seeing just how beautiful it is. There are so many different fountains and lots of different stores. I ended up even buying a bag here. I had the intention of buying a really pretty blue crossbody bag many months ago. This is something I wanted to buy. And I was just so happy that when I was here, I ended up finding exactly what I wanted and from the brand I wanted too. Like I really like Kate Spade bags, they're so cute. as well as going to a restaurant right by the water. So if you want to walk around, enjoy the view and shop a little, eat a little, this is like a really cute outlet to visit. After spending the day at the outlets, my friend and I were thinking, ah, oh, let's get some ice cream. That would be a really nice way to end the day. And I was taken to Stone Mountain Creamery. So I have never had ice cream in this exact format. Um, basically taking the ice cream, just like vanilla, for example, and then putting in the toppings. This was really cool and unique. Um, I really love chunky ice cream, so if you're like me, this is a great place to go. And once again, this is also in another shopping mall. As you can see, the Greater Naples, there is a bunch of shopping malls that you could be looking into to have your entertainment. I'm in RSW Airport and I'm flying home. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. If you've done all the above, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next adventure.